So if you're unsure how to times or divide by 10 or times by 100, see those videos. Uh, here's the questions you hopefully answered successfully on timesing 100. Uh, and what we notice is that the digits don't change. And we pointed that out in the previous videos. There's always an 8 and a 7, and there's always an 8 and a 7 in the answer. And we said that's particular to, and over here, same again, 22, 22, 254, 254, 28, 28, 288, 288. Great. We're going to be dividing by 100. The same holds true. Um, as we mentioned, if you times or divide by 1, 10, 100, 1,000, the digits always remain the same. So that's a nice way you can check quickly you haven't done something completely wrong. And also, it uh, makes it really quick to do. So we now, uh, hopefully you're getting really comfortable with the idea that as soon as we're dividing, um, sorry, everything's going to get smaller, and so it's going to move to the right. If you make an error and you move it to the left, just look at your answer at the end and say, is it smaller? I can't share money with 100 people or sweets or food with 100 people and have more than I had when I started with. That would be extraordinary. Uh, there's a the decimal. Two zeros, so it's going to move all the digits two places to the right. The decimal stays there, the two zeros go to one side of it, only the seven and the zero left on the right. The answer is 70. There's the decimal. There are two zeros, so all the digits have to move two places to the right. The two zeros will go to the right of the decimal, leaving the seven on the left only. That would be seven. If I divided 700 euros between 100 people, they'd each get seven euros. 70, there's the decimal. Both the 7 and the 0 have moved two places to find themselves on the other side of the decimal. 7, the decimal is here. It moves one place behind and then it moves a second place creating a space between it and the decimal. So that would be 0 0.07. It's not wrong to write 0 0.07 but it's probably easier to read with the 0 in there too. 70,000. Remember we talked about putting a line after three digits to show these are thousands. How many thousands? There are 70 of them. 70,000 divided by 100. Two zeros. There's the decimal. These two zeros are going to find themselves on the right side of that decimal. I could leave it like that. It's not wrong, but it's kind of unnecessary to have those two zeros there in this case. So 700. Three put a line after the first three so we know it's thousands, there's 23 of them, 23,000 divided by 100. There are two zeros there, so these are all going to move two places to the right. Those two zeros are going to end up on the right side of that decimal, making this number 230. There's the decimal. Those two zeros, because they move two places right, are going to end up on the right side of that decimal, making this number 23. The 3 and the 0 will both move two places along with the 2, but the 3 and the 0 end up on the right side of the decimal, making that 2.30, which is helpful when you're talking about money, probably €2.30, Euros, £32.30, 32 pounds, 32 dollars 30, um, but not necessary in this case. There's the decimal. Both the 2 and the 3, because they're going to move two places to the right, are going to find themselves on the other side of the decimal. We put the 0 there just to make it easier to read. So when we're dividing by 100, there are two zeros, so the digits move. Remember, digits is just another word for number. It's when there's only one number, digit. It's helpful. It's like the fingers, digitale, Latin for finger, digits, one number. Uh, move two places right. Over to you. Try these then. When you're done, press play and see if you got it correct. So press pause. When you're done, press play and see if you got it correct. Okay, so this time I'm just going to write the answers. Those two are going to end up on the right side of the decimal. Both of those digits, because there's two places, will end up on the right side of those digits. This will end up on the right side of the digit after one place, and after two place creates a gap between it and the decimal, making that 0 0.04. Four euros, dollars, pounds, Shared between 100 people means they'll each get only 4 cents. 0 0.04 dollars or pounds or euros is the same as 4 cents. 
but as the decimal which they wrote is the four is going to move two places creating two gaps between it and the decimal 0 0.004 there's the decimal the zero and the four are going to move two places creating two gaps between them and the decimal 0 0.004 those two digits will find themselves on the right of the decimal point. Those two digits will find themselves on the right of the decimal point. These are going to move two places to the left. One place to the left, the 8 is on the right. The second place it's created a gap that we fill with a 0, 0 0.087. There are two digits on the, the right side of the decimal already. So when they move two places to the right, they create two gaps between them and the decimal, which we fill with zeros, 0 0.0087. If you f feel like you'd need extra practice, or you'd like extra practice, try those, and then use your calculator to check. Good luck, and well done if you got the previous ones all correct, except for maybe one.